Hey YouTube, what's going on? Squall2828 here. Uh, this video is a video response to Up to Par 84's 500 sub contest. He's trying to get up to 500. Let's help him out. I'll put his information up over there. Uh, really nice guy. Uh, I've actually talked to him quite a bit here on YouTube. Uh, even sent him some stuff here within the past month. He's a big Ohio State fan, so let's try to get him up to 500. Anyway, he has a contest um, uh, for he wants users to send in videos to show what your favorite card is, why it's your favorite card, and how you got it, or where you got it. I tried really hard to narrow it down to one. Uh, I couldn't do it. I have three. But um, this video response is, is really about this one right here. But I just wanted to try to uh, show these two off here real quick because they're, they're right up there with my favorites. Uh, this first one here is number 28 of 30. It is a Kyle Korver one color jersey autograph card. Um, I'm not sure if it's from his rookie year. It's from 2007, so I don't think so. Um, but this is one of my favorites because obviously um, he, he's with the Jazz now, but Kyle Korver went to Creighton. I'm a big Creighton Blue Jay fan, so I've always wanted to uh, have a Kyle Korver autograph. Now I do. Uh, so that like I said, that was an eBay purchase about six months ago. That's how I obtained that one. Um, this next one here, I got to get a magnetic case for it, but um, this one here is, it's like I said, it's right up there also. Um, it's from 2009 Rookies and Stars Basketball. Um, if you've been following some of my other vids um, about the set that I'm trying to put together for Rookies and Stars Basketball, you may have seen this one. Um, but this one here, is a statistical standouts one color jersey that's an on card autograph of Kobe Bryant uh, and this is numbered 7 of 25 I don't think it's gonna show there it is uh, this was the first Kobe Bryant card that I have ever um, received out of a hobby box uh, I actually went to my local card shop uh, three months ago maybe two months ago probably two months ago uh, he had a couple um, a couple boxes of Rookies and Stars basketball that he actually ordered for me to, to buy because he didn't have any at the time so I asked him if he had any. He's like, no. He's like, I'll get some. So he, he got two of them, two boxes, and then I brought them home and that was in box number one. Box number two, it couldn't top that. So, But that's one of the reason why that's one of my favorites is because first Kobe on-card auto, actually it's my first Kobe auto period. I got another one from Rookies and Stars, one of the team patch signatures but um, that's why this one's one of my favorites because it's one of the it's the first one first Kobe auto I ever received um, but to the the main reason for this video is, is this card here and I'm gonna kinda preface the the card by a little story here um, I've just gotten back into the card collecting community within the past eight months you know I collected cards as a kid but you know I grew up in a small town less than a thousand people and there are um, wasn't a lot of uh, avenues to um, pick up any sports cards, football, basketball, unless you went to the big city, um, which we didn't do very often. So I decided to, you know, one day just to go to our local card shop here, the same one where I got where I got that one, um, the two boxes of rookies and stars. And uh, this was obviously before I got these. So it was like the third time I went in the store. You know, the first couple times I went in, I got like a box of 2008, or I'm sorry, 2009 Upper Deck and the 2009 Draft Picks football. Um, didn't really have much luck with those. So I decided to spend a little more money and, and get one of the, I don't know, mainstream hobby boxes. Not the high-end, high-end stuff, but, you know, the average 95 bucks or whatever it was. So I got a box of 2009 Rookies and Stars football, and um, actually opened up the box there at the at the shop. And this was the last hit that I received from the box. I don't even remember what the other two or three were, but uh, this is a team chemistry: Glenn Coffey, Nate Davis, Michael Crabtree, team patch signature autograph, and this is numbered four of ten. And the reason why this is my favorite card is because it's the first card I've ever um, gotten out of a hobby box that uh, you know was such a, a short print. It was pretty much the first autograph, really, first memorable autograph, really. 
you know, because Michael Crabtree at the time, you know, he wasn't doing all that holdout crap, and you know, to pull a Michael Crabtree out, it was kind of a big deal. So that's why this is my favorite card because it's the first real hit that I had uh, gotten from a hobby box. So you know, I remember, I remember seeing it and kind of was just almost awestruck and silent for a few minutes because I was just like, holy crap, you know. You know, to get it one auto is, is, always, is always nice, but I got three out of this one. So, And like I said, it's numbered to ten. So that was kind of one of those memorable moments. And it's the reason why I'm still collecting to this day, you know, to try to... And I don't think I've really had much that uh, since then that's really comparable, you know, in, in kind of shock value as, as what I got from this one. I'm not really a big 49ers fan, but I'll always keep this. And... Um, I always remember it as being the first real, you know, first true big pull that I'd ever gotten since uh, getting back into this hobby. So those are the ones, <clears throat> that's the main one I wanted to show. I wanted to put these other two in here. Like I said, I still got to get a magnetic for this one here, but then there's the, you know, the Kyle Corver Auto. So these are really the, the three. You know, there's probably a handful of other ones that I could say are, are up there too, but you know, when you say what is your favorite card, those three come to mind, especially the the team chemistry triple autograph ones. So, uh, anyway, that is uh, that is the reason why these are my favorites. And like I said, let's try to get up to par 84, up to 500 subs. Um, I'm not sure when the contest ends. I think it's next week. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, let's get him up there. Sub to him. He's a really nice guy. This is Squall 2828 out.